Hey, 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 what's up, everyone? It's Kaz, and I am back with Fallout 4. We're here trying to open up the vault door, and uh, in this episode, we're going to open up this bad boy and see if we can get the hell out of here. So this is the vault door. You can see the locks are engaged. Uh, we had to fight some rad roaches and certain things to get through here. There's a bunch of skeletons, which to me denotes that, uh, you know, people have been dead for a long time. So... I'm up and I'm available, so let's go ahead and open up this door. Oh, so we need a Pip Boy. So, what the hell? Ah, oh, there's the Pip Boy. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. We got our pip boy. Sweet. Nice. So change tabs with right trigger or left trigger, right? selections with the directional pad right nice I see data out of time that's my quest no workshops those are my stats can check those all out at a later time. The, the information, the metrics within this game are vast. So, you know, we, we got we got a lot to check out and to look at. So we'll look at the map. There's the map. Standard controls from Fallout. Here's where we are at Vault 111 at the top of the map at the very northwest of the map. So, I believe we have to go to, well, Sanctuary Hills, somewhere in this vicinity. But we, first we have to get out of the vault. But I'm damn pleased to get my Pip-Boy. Yeah, there's stats. My special. No perks yet. And we're leveling up uh, about a quarter of the way through uh, to a half till the next level. All right, we got 100 action points. And our hit points are at 100 as well, of which we have 85. So we're a little bit injured. Uh, let's check out the perk chart, whatever that means. Ah, it's the perk chart. So we can check out all the things that we have. Nice. Ah, so that's that's the, the tech tree, I would imagine. Yeah, that's the tech tree. So you could see at a glance what you want to do and how you want to... Oh. That's much different. And then what? The right bumper is next rank. Okay, don't understand all of that yet, but I, I, I see here that here's the tech tree. So that's good. Iron fist, pickpocket. Yeah, that's nice. A lot of things that I remember from the... A lot of things I remember from Fallout 3. All right, we'll get out of this. We'll get out of the Pip-Boy as well. Nice. So now we can open up the vault door. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. There's the Pip-Boy light. And B access is the... Nice. Same like Fallout 3. The same movements as Fallout 3. So B button. Hold down the B button on the con uh, Xbox controller. And you will put the flashlight. And same, hold it and it turns off. And if you just tap the B button, 
You're in the pit, boy. Good stuff. Let's open up this door. Ah, oh, it has an interface. Sweet. I will. Come on, open up that bad boy. Let's get out of this bitch. Oh, fresh air. All right, so we are on our way. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, there's the elevator. This is where we came in. Oh, this is exciting, guys. I remember in Fallout 3 when you first came out of the vault and you saw the outside, how spectacular it was. Do I want to change anything? Uh, name, special attributes, no. Do I want to change my appearance? No, I do not. So we are finished. Let's exit the vault and let's go see what the wasteland has to offer. Actually, Yeah, let's just go. Enjoy your return to the surface and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. What choice did I have? Was it really a choice? I mean, come on. Shit started blowing up and I had to run to the to the nearest location for safety. Wasn't really a choice. Look at the power armor, that's nice. The graphics on this game are, are really good. The load time's not too bad. Yeah, I think I think uh, we have that early on in the game, the power armor. Whereas in Fallout 3, you had to wait a long, long time to get the power armor. Okay, here we are. It's daylight. Wow. Wow, it's our first view. Our eyes are getting unfuzzied. And there is the wasteland in its glory. Our first view of the wasteland. Look at the vista. Wow, it looks great. Yeah, this game really looks nice. Okay, so we have to Well, we'll take a look around here and see if there's anything. We'll stay hidden. Not ready to fight anything as of yet. Let's see if there's stuff that we can we can use here. Hmm. I have to go that way. What's that? There's another little icon there. You see the little icon? Looks like a a um, a figurine or something. Maybe a bobblehead. Maybe that's the location of a bobblehead or some sort of resource. What do we got in here? Oh, nice. I'm going to take the... Okay, so right button. So you equip them. I don't have any. Or do I? Miscellaneous or do it's in weapons. So Okay, so I could right bumper it. Oh, 
So here I'll assign it the favorite. So Molotov cocktail is up button. Oh, got it. Oh, so here's the elevator button. Let's take this wrench. Take the folder too. So the elevator button, what does that do? Oh, okay, so if I go here and hit that, so then that's a way to call for the elevator. Cool. I don't know if I'll have access to Vault 111 again, but at least it's good to know what's around here. Uh, I have to go down here somehow. Let's see if there's an official road or some way that I should be going. What's this? Yeah, we'll go down this way. Sure. What's in here? Bottle cap? I'll take it. Oh, I'll take some 9mm, 10mm rounds. Sorry. Nothing else in here. You gotta check everywhere because there was stuff hidden behind desks. Look. I'll take some cram. So you really have to look well. Alright, so this is the way out, I believe. I'm going to head down here. Lots of skeletons. Gee. Lots of p people who couldn't make it in. I'm guessing that's what that means. Prepare for the future. Well, I'm here. I'm from the future, bitches. Or rather... Oh, look at this. I'm going to take these beans. I'm back to the future. Alright, so let's... Mm. So there's that element, which I really didn't get into in... in in Vegas, New Vegas, which was the the uh, the crafting of plants and and herbs and shit like that. But that's interesting. I have to remember my New Vegas playthrough as well. There's water. What's that over there? Those plants definitely stick out. It might be something I could use later. Who knows? Definitely they're here. It's easy to find. Come on. Come on. Cool. Let's not get off the beaten track. Let us go across this bridge where we came from. And we have probably this whole settlement to scavenge. Ah, oh, it's already been. So this is our first home base, sort of. Yeah. Are there people here? I want to make sure. Yeah, see, rad roaches. The hell with you. At least now I could... Oh, he's behind me, I think. At least now I can eat some rad roach. There he is. So I could restore my health. Come on, anything in here? Is it actual Nuka Cola? Nuka Cherry? I'll take it. I'll take the deviled eggs. Any kind of food or anything that I can uh, use right now, I will take it. All these other miscellaneous things, I'm not sure what I can do with them. But I'm certain I'll find out shortly. Okay. Just the bobby pin. Same thing like Fallout 3. Okay. Got it. Okay, so not, that's not it. Got it. That's it. Take all. Cool. 
Okay, so lock picking the same way as in Fallout 3. I was pretty good with lock picking. As long as I have the feel for it and the controller behaves correctly, I'm pretty good with lock picking. That's not to say I won't use up my share of bobby pins, broken bobby pins, no less. But for the most part, I like the lock picking mechanism in this game. Okay, so that's this place. I'll take the cigar. What the hell? It's always good to have a good stogie while you're in the wasteland. All right, so it looks like we're going to be doing a lot of scavenging. So that's what the game is about. So welcome to Fallout 4. I'll take duct tape because that that fixes everything. If there's one thing you need in the apocalypse, it's duct tape. It's a radio. Guy seems very confused. Seems very confused on the radio. It's nice to hear some music. What do we got in here? Cap stash. I'll take it. Oh, nice. Oh, at least we got the fallout. Oh, I'm home. At least we got the fallout 3 music again, which, you know, I kind of liked. Where's Codsworth? Over here? What do we got here? Always check the mailboxes. That's, that's a handy tip. No? Nothing here. We're just going to quickly go around... Jump up top. Yeah? Codsworth, you're in there? Do I want to jump in there? Can I get out if I do? Probably not. Probably not. So we won't do that. Lots to check out, guys. Lots of stuff to check out. Gonna be a lot of time scavenging. Okay, so what do we got here? Typewriter, toolbox. Take both items. Oh. What's this? Power armor? That's a power armor, you know, type of a thing. No? Yeah, power armor station, just like I thought. Hmm. It's a workshop. Ah, the workshop allows you to build, adjust, and remove nearby objects and structures. Move between options. Yeah. If your selected object appears green, press A to build it. If it appears red, try adjusting its location until it changes to green. Workshop objects are built from components. When building an object, components are automatically harvested from junk items in your inventory or the workshops. Yeah. What exactly did that mean? I'm not 100% sure. But I guess we can build all of these things. Nice. Nice. I think I'll have to figure that out, no? Yeah. So what does that mean? Hold to open the workshop menu while in the build area. Yeah, okay. No. 
Okay, got it. I don't I don't have it, but I got the I see how you could turn that on and off essentially. I'll have to figure out how to do crafting and all of that good stuff. Right now not gonna try to jump into it. As a matter of fact, we are going to end this episode outside here. And uh, there's Codsworth, so we're going to go and see Codsworth in the next episode. So, as usual, everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying the Fallout 4 playthrough. Uh, we're in the initial stages, so it's the formative stages, which is, which is always a lot of fun. It's usually the best part of the game, is when you're beginning. Um, but right now I'm playing blind, as is mostly everyone. So we're going to figure it out together. Well, that's it for me. This is Kaz signing off. Take care. Peace.